let's hope when he does he's smiling again. Now, earlier tonight, Neville Brown, who we've been speaking to, was in action in the ring. And this is a big night for Neville Brown, even in his mid-30s, first time in action since a thrilling fight for the British middleweight title, which Brown held with distinction against Glenn Catley. This was 18 months ago, but it was one of the best fights we brought you in that year. And a really tough fight for the British middleweight title. Catley on the way up, Neville Brown desperately doing everything to hang on to his title. Grueling and, from Brown's point of view, foul-ridden contest. And Brown certainly came off worst as Catley seized his opportunity. Brown beaten, Catley crowned as new British middleweight champion. Glenn went on to perform very honourably in a world title fight. Neville has had time to allow the injuries to heal and to reconsider his future. He believes he can fight on. So he was back in action tonight here. The opponent, the useful veteran from Nottingham, Errol MacDonald. Fascinating one this, the ring return after 18 months of the former British middleweight champion and world title contender Neville Brown in the black trunks here in with Errol MacDonald who was a fair fighter himself in better times and he really fancies the job I know tonight against Brown. MacDonald who's on the fourth fight of a comeback in the gold trunks here and there's bound to be a bit of ring rust you'd think for Brown who was last seen in the ring when he was pretty badly beaten up really by Glenn Catley but he's caught McDonald there with a little chopping left hand and that's bound to lift his confidence early on Glenn. Well he needed something like that very early because I think this fight's all about getting some confidence and he needs to do that quickly and that was a good punch just to get himself started. Another right hand seemed to hurt McDonald. Good puncher Neville Brown he scored 36 knockdowns in his career, which has been going on now for a decade as a professional before his pretty glorious amateur days when he was so unlucky not to box in the Olympics. Just happened to be around at the same time as Richie Woodall. It's been shaken up a couple of times already, MacDonald. Yes, he has. That is the... I think the, the bad point with McDonald, just a bit unstable around the chin, doesn't take a, a shot that good. McDonald now 35 years of age. And again, his balance not looking too clever, or his legs as he took that little left hand from Brown, who feel he has plenty to prove. Uppercuts from him. And his power is proving decisive here, mixing them up to head and body. And this is looking all a bit too much at the moment for Errol MacDonald, a former European title contender himself eight years ago. It's good work, this, by Brown. Doesn't look like he's been out for 18 months, does it? No, it's a good start, and I think just the confidence of getting a, a good shot home to McDonald has really lifted him now he's starting to get into some sort of rhythm and Brown will still believe he can once again be a championship fighter and who's to say he's wrong 33 now left hook there from McDonald who has taken the punishment quite well just showing signs of a little rally towards the end of the round. But very definitely, Neville Brown's round. Well, it was a good round for Brown. About 30 seconds in, he just caught McDonald with a... A good uppercut, just pushes him back there on the back foot. Round two. Second round, and this is only due to go six. It's the first time that Neville Brown's been in a six-rounder since back in 1991. It's a bit of a come-down, really, for a guy who was in with Steve Collins 
for the uh, World Super Middleweight title over in Ireland not so long ago. But he'll regard this as a rehabilitation exercise. The timing just looking a little out there for Brown. Out of range with his jab. Errol McDonald, who on this comeback did have a very good win over the previously unbeaten Bobby Bangar last November. Well, he can bang a bit, McDonald, but he's struggling to get out of the way of the, the good jabs from Brown. Brown, who boxes out of the brewery town of Burton on Trent in Staffordshire. He's got big support there, too. A few of them here tonight. Boxing quite neatly on the back foot, too, when he needs to, Brown. He's a very well-schooled operator. Two ABA titles all those years ago. And he boxed all around the world. Well, he's been around an awful long time, Neville Brown, but McDonald's still looking to come forward and un unload himself. Missing a lot, though. And Brown just finding him with a little right cross after all those shots had hit thin air. Brown keeping up a pretty good work rate. He's obviously prepared fairly well under Clifton Mitchell for this ring return. Well, I'm sure he knows the importance of this, and uh, it really has to be a win here for Brown. Now, I'll tell you what, though, I was talking to Aaron McDonald last night, and he was coming into this with plenty of ambition himself. He was due to fight Jason Matthews tonight, but we know that Matthews is in with Ryan Rhodes instead. So he's prepared well enough. Still getting the shots off quite well, Brown, but open a little bit when he goes backwards. It just looks a bit open, doesn't he? He was caught an awful lot too much by Catley that night. He lost his British title in what was his sixth defence. No knockdown there. Last few seconds of the second round, and Neville Brown continuing to impress on his comeback. Um, I'm meeting someone, but I'd quite like to freshen up first. It's just over here, sir. Ah, the best things come to those who loaf. Here's to maximum refreshment, minimum effort. Mmm, you smell nice. Thanks, I've uh, just been to the lavatory. Third round of the ring return of... Neville Brown, done well in the first two rounds here with Errol McDonald, the former Terry Lawless fighter and European title contender. He was in with uh, Patrizio Olivar for the European welterweight crown, so he's a, a bigger boy these days. Up at 11, stone 11 tonight. Brown is half a pound lighter. doing most of the work that matters here. Yes, the better variety and the, the better punches all together are coming from Brown. Good right hand through the middle there from Neville Brown, trying to club home a few right crosses as well, and he'll have to cover up here, McDonald. Body shots mixed in, it's a fair old repertoire here from the former champion. Looking here to ram the resistance out of Errol McDonald. He's covered up well for the most part, though, over there, McDonald. And he's come here with plenty of spirit. Whether that's going to be enough to get him through this looks pretty much open to question. Well, this has been a very good attack from Neville Brown, still trying to pile the pressure on. Just 
try to pick the shots. Brown finds some openings. Oh, right hand and left hook from McDonald off the ropes. Just snarling a little defiance. Body shots look hurt for this, three of them in towards the ribcage. Right uppercut, there was a left hook, he might go here, McDonald. This could be the end of it. What will referee Roy Snipe do here? He's up with a count at four, but he's on unsteady legs. It was a result, really, of those three shots to the body. A couple of head ones as well, he takes a close look, the referee. Can Brown finish it here? Oh, a right hand, and I think that might end the argument. Oh, he's got to stop it. He must stop it. He does stop it quite correctly. And Neville Brown is back with an impressive performance. And it was good value, too, for that stoppage win. Brown is back. He is. He really needed a performance like that. And it just showed how much he wanted the, the victory there. He just stood over McDonald until there was nothing left in him. Really, as you said, he just wanted to hammer the resistance out of McDonald, and that worked well, and that was a, an impressive victory for Brown. Well, he'd been away for 18 months, and from the word go tonight, it never looked that long. I think, actually, at this stage of his career, as we look at this assault, I think the break has freshened him up a bit. Well, I think he certainly probably needed a break, but it, I think it just shows real determination. I think he knows at this stage in his career, there's not that many chances left. And he really had to just go all out here and look good and get a, a good victory. And he really just just kept throwing punches at McDonald. Just didn't didn't give him a chance to recover. I think actually Errol McDonald just saw that there was no way out of that little prison cell on those ropes in the end. Well, he showed gameness, McDonald, but there, there just wasn't a way out. Brown was determined just to stand there and throw the punches that counted. Brown, incidentally, would have been back a bit sooner, only he uh, broke his foot playing football. That kept him out for two months as well. Stick to the boxing, Neb. Just a big right hand from McDonald, and a short little uppercut just cap catches McDonald on the chin, and that's uh, enough for him. Well, it was a game effort from Errol McDonald, who had high hopes, but uh, he found Neville Brown in pretty good nick there on his return. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 43 seconds of the third round, the referee stops the contest. Harold McDonald in no position to defend himself. The winner, Neville Brown. Wasn't even breathing at the end of it. Well, at least that's what he wants us all to believe. Neville's now talking to Adam Smith. Well, Neville, after an 18-month break, it didn't look like there was a lot of uh, ring rust there. What did you think watching back at it? Uh... No snapness at all. <laughs> You're disappointed? Yeah. Yes, because... OK, no. Uh, the, last, the last round uh, was excellent on the, on the ropes, but I didn't want to really be there. I wanted to get the rounds under my belt. But um, he wouldn't let me. He just kept coming after me. I kept thinking, slow it down. This is like, I've got to get back into the fight game. You stand there and let me jab you and, you and so on. But he wasn't having it, so it was pressuring me from the time. And Errol, me and Errol go back a long way for the ABA yeah. days. So Did you feel I, good getting back in there? Oh, well, scary. <laughs> I did, I, it didn't hit me until Monday of this week. I thought, oh, change of opponent. Oh, got to make the weight. Oh, and I'm definitely overweight. <laughs> you know, I'm good six or seven pounds overweight here, and I, I can see it. And as I'm moving around the ring, I don't like it. But end of the day, it's back to the gym tomorrow. And Clifton uh, Mitchell is looking after me and Stuart. Uh, both good trainers looking after me. And, Do you want uh, Howard Eastman? I want all of them. <laughs> I want to be a world champ. You're hungry again. I'm hungry. I want to be a world champ. But obviously, I'm going to improve. I didn't got this was uh, was Ryan's night and Jason's night tonight. And all I was interested in was coming over here, getting into the ring, soaking up a little bit of the action. And it was kind of a sparring session type thing for me. And I don't mean, don't mean that in a disrespectful way to Errol, but that's what I looked at. It. It's the first time I've sparred as such. And uh, 
I look at it and uh, it's good. It was good. I enjoyed it. And as long as Arrow was okay. And uh, the crowd enjoyed the last three minutes anyway. <laughs> well so, done tonight, Nev. Thank you very much. 31 wins in 37 outings. How about Neville Brown to challenge the likes of Eastman or Matthews, Barry? Well, definitely, and I think that if he keeps going the way he's going, uh, he can do that. Uh, nice opponent tonight, sensible opponent. You know, uh, Errol, Errol McDonald was, be was best, obviously, as a welterweight. His punch resistance seems to have evaporated over the years, but it was tremendous the way that Neville broke him up and, and uh, stopped him. Some of the body shots, you could hear them all over the hall, tremendously. Good variety of punches. Good accuracy, timing was good, despite what he says. I was impressed with him, and I think, you know, six months' time, he could be knocking on the door of the likes of Howard Eastman, maybe even Jason Matthews, if, if he plays his cards right. Go along with that, Jim. Yeah, definitely. We have to remember, he is a class act. A couple of years ago, he was well on the way to becoming European champion against Sharif. You remember, well mm -hmm. on the hidden points, That's but he yeah. ran out of steam, and he got stopped. Had now, him down, if too. If he'd won that fight, pardon? Had him down, too. Exactly, yeah, he was well on the way. All he had to do was really go the distance. It went against him. At that point, his career could just have went all, all the way. Instead of that, it's gone back the way, so he can pick it up again. All right, Jim.